Good morning, friends. Today for social or for science, we're going to be reading another book about apples. This time, the title is The Seasons of Arnold's Apple Tree by Gail Gibbons. She read the book that we read on Monday. Arnold climbs up high into the branches of the apple tree. He can see far, far away in every direction. This is Arnold's very own secret place. This is Arnold's apple tree. Arnold's tree keeps him very busy all through the year. It's spring. Arnold watches the small buds grow on his apple tree. Some of the buds develop into sweet smelling apple blossoms. See how the tree is changing. There's our blossoms, if you can see those. There. Sorry. Over here. Carefully and quietly, Arnold watches bees collect nectar from the blossoms to make honey. You now he's watching it. Arnold makes a swing for his apple tree. There you can see the bee right here on the corner bottom over here how it makes the honey bee helps the asshole apple blossom to make the um to pollinate it so that the apple breaks we weave an apple blossom wreath and it, as it hangs from the branch right there arnold picks an armful of apple blossoms and brings it to his family they make a flower arrangement so using his apple tree make a flower arrangement that you can see right there. It's summer. Right now, summer, we're almost into fall. Arnold's apple tree has big green leaves that rustle in the wind. Rustle means they kind of make some noise when, when the tree's blowing. Arnold builds a tree house. Pretty cool. His apple tree shades him from the hot summer sun. The green shelter, the green leaves shelter him during a summer shower. Arnold spends a lot of time in his apple tree. Arnold watches small apples begin to grow from where the blossoms used to be. They grow bigger and bigger and bigger. With some of the big green apples, Arnold does a juggling act for his tree friends. See how some of them are becoming red? It's fall, which we will be into soon. Arnold's apple tree now has big, red, tasty apples. The green leaves have turned golden. They drift to the ground. In the fall, the leaves start to fall off of the tree. Arnold gathers some of the leaves and brings them up to his treehouse to make a soft floor to lie on. Arnold shakes the branches and red apples fall to the ground. He puts them in a basket and takes them home. See how some of the, he's taking the, the apples there and over here some of the leaves are falling off the tree. Arnold and his family make apple pies with apples from Arnold's apple tree. They put the rest of the apples into a cider press and make fresh cider. There's the cider press. So they put it in and they grind it up and the juice comes out. On Halloween day, Arnold decorates some of the biggest apples. Right there. They glow in the moonlight under his tree on Halloween night. Pretty cool. I didn't think about doing that with an apple. It's winter. Snow falls. It is quiet. The branches of Arnold's apple tree are bare. No more leaves on it. They all fell off and fall. Arnold hangs strings of popcorn and berries on them for the winter birds to eat. So he's taking care of all of the animals by feeding them. Looks like his dog is helping Arnold. He builds a snow fort around the bottom of his tree. Arnold builds a snowman to keep him and his tree company during the winter. The snow melts away, it's spring again, and it starts all over again. Now on the back, you can see the different seasons. 
of the apple tree. See how it starts in spring right here with the blossoms. Summer, it has the big leaves. So down here around fall, the leaves change colors and fall off, and that's when you pick your apples. And then, of course, in winter, there is no leaves or blossoms on because they don't grow till the spring. Okay. Now, when you're done, there's an activity that goes along with Arnold's apple tree, so you can do that on Seesaw. Have a great day.